Gonna take a look at a beautiful picture of the sunset over Jackson Lake setting behind Mount Moran. Now Sherry Edwards Croon shared this and she said, hey, it's not Idaho, <laughs> but our neighbors sure do things pretty as well. That's and we'll nice. give her that, that is true. We'll, it is a beautiful we'll picture. We'll give them that, yes. <laughs> well, well, let's get to Jim right now, Jim, and talk about what's happening with this refreshing rainfall we've been seeing. Ooh. Yeah, we'll claim that though, because the sun is setting in Idaho. In that <laughs> That's right, yes, Absolutely. they catch it in post falls. Yesterday's first measurable rainfall in more than a month brought some relief to the air quality as well, helping to sweep out some of the smoke. And we also had the most rainfall yesterday than we've had at any one time since June the 12th. So it's been a long, long time. The fall conditions developing for the rest of the week with scattered showers and cooler temperatures coming. 60 degrees right now, 75% humidity outside, and a light southeast breeze at six at three miles per hour across the uh, Treasure Valley. So what we're looking at on Storm Tracker, first of all, is an absence of any air quality warnings for much of our area, although they are still in effect for portions of eastern Oregon and also into the central mountains. The eastern Oregon air quality warning will expire at noon today, though. Notice also there are some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms showing up. One has been moving into the northern portion of the Treasure Valley along the Sand Hills. Now it's moved up into uh, Gem County heading into Boise County with some active thunder and lightning past the Middleton area a little while ago and is now moving on up into the West Central Mountains. Also, some thunderstorms up in northeastern Oregon, pretty active, moving up into southeastern Washington and toward the Lewiston area. Those showers in northern Malheur County fizzled out pretty much after the last little thunder shower has been moving on eastward heading into the Boise Mountains right now. So a few sprinkles and showers associated with it when you get up into Jim County and Boise County this morning. So watch for that. Otherwise dry across our area and air quality improving too. You noticed yesterday better visibility by afternoon, better breathing going on. We have mainly good to moderate air quality from McCall all the way down to Idaho City here in the Treasure Valley. Everybody's reporting green at the present time time and over the Magic Valley, moderate air, Sun Valley reporting green or good air quality. That low pressure trough yesterday moved on eastward. Another one is developing in eastern Oregon, though. We'll start moving in tonight and tomorrow, bringing more showers and thunderstorms back into the area. And tomorrow looks like a pretty active day. And then another batch coming in for the weekend. For the Magic Valley, upper 70s to near 80 degrees today, with a chance of isolated thunder showers toward afternoon, especially down near the Nevada border. Central mountain areas, low 70s today with a few scattered showers here and there and patchy smoke as you get up into the vicinity of some of the wildfires. 74 in McCall and an isolated thunder shower, 74 in Cascade and Donnelly and partly cloudy today. Treasure Valley temperatures low to mid 80s with mostly sunny skies today. 84 in Boise, 82 in Meridian, and 85 in Mountain Home. Seven-day forecast, looking ahead, 81 degrees tomorrow with more widespread showers and thunderstorms around. We cooled at the upper 70s on Friday. Another low pressure trough over the weekend drops us to the 70s, low 70s Saturday, and behind it, the slow to mid 60s by Sunday and Monday. Saturday and Sunday look like another batch of rain coming through and then drying out a little bit early next week, but those are some real fall-like temperatures. Yes, they are. All right, thank you, Jim.